Hi there, my name is Luke and today we're going to be looking at the HP editor. So, you might be wondering what HP means and HP stands for hard point. And a hard point can be anything from your warp core to your nacelles to the bridge module to the overall speed in which you can travel. It's, it's really any sort of ship attribute. So, you can imagine the hardpoint editor as a, a sort of virtual dry dock. It's where you're going to essentially construct the ships in the game. It's where you'll add all the attributes and all the components needed for your ship to function. So let's... let's fire that up. Okay, so this is the hardpoint editor. This is the component view. Um, you might have seen a similar picture uploaded not long ago, with the ship components visible through the hull. This is not currently wired up, so we can we can turn this off for now. So, over here we have all the building blocks of our ship. Every ship will need these. Every ship will need a warp car for power. Every ship will need life support. Um, you can find these components in the available systems menu. So these are all the available components. Everything's here that you'll need to bring your ship or your station or your shuttle to life. Uh, today, specifically, we're going to look at decals. Now, you may notice that this Centropic class here doesn't have any registries here. Um, doesn't have any, any sort of text on it. And I'll explain why in a moment. So let's... Let's open this up. It literally is drag and drop. So, if we go back into the available systems menu, we can see it's now been added to the ship. So we can, can move this into place, and you'll see... There we go. So you can see it's now projecting our logo onto the ship. Now this is great, but... That's not what we want, so we're going to load up the Intrepid's ID map. So here it is. You can see that all the text is contained in this one file. Um, now, we're just going to focus on this bit here for now. So, we can do that. There we go. So I've, I've gotten rid of everything below that. So if I just click off this, sorry, this is the bit that's left. So the reason that we're separating out the registries um, is because it means if we have a hundred Intrepids in a battle, we only need to load up one instance of the Intrepid's whole texture. And then it's just a case of swapping out the ID maps, the text that you can see here. If we were to have the registries baked onto this texture, uh, we'd need a different, we need to load up an entire different texture um, for every single Intrepid, which is no good, it's, it's very expensive. So just to, just to show you a bit better what I mean by this, is if I click back onto this. If you, if you just keep an eye there, I can swap this out to the Intrepid's ID map. So, and you can see it changes it there and then. So we don't need to load up an entirely different texture for the ship, we're just swapping out the registries. So, as you can imagine also, because the hull of the ship is an entirely separate texture to the registry, it makes it much easier for modders to go in and name their own ships. It's much better, for example, than Bridge Commander's way of doing things, where they had the registries and the hull on the same texture. Think of it like layers. The registries and the base hull texture can be edited independently of each other. So I can knock off the HP editor for now, and you can see that all the editing is done in real time. So that's it for this month's update. Um, I'm going to try and keep on top of this, and whenever there's an update uh, to the HP editor, I'm, I'm going to try and do just a quick little video uh, just to show you what's going on. Um, yeah, so for now, as we say in Britain, Tally-o!